My name is Jacques-André Stel, I license number one. And just recently made again lifetime honorary president of the United States Parachute Association. <laughs> How did parachuting become a sport? Free fall parachuting in those days was limited to air show and persons usually called barnstormers who were snubbed by the aviation community. There were reasons for that. One of them was that the main school of thought was led by a very brave free-faller named Canarozzo. And Canarozzo taught his pupils that, quote, you do not open your parachute until you can smell the grass. Ken Rozzo and I believe the majority of his pupils planted themselves deeply into the ground. I went to the Pioneer Parachute Company and had them build five chutes with very, very low porosity. They made me sign a legal document you can't imagine. There were blue shoots, and I took the first one. They had a large hole at the back, and they accomplished three things. First, the large hole allowed stability. The parachute didn't oscillate much anymore. Second, by tugging on a on a cord of either side of the hole, the canopy would rotate, so you could select your direction. Third, Bernoulli's principle. The low porosity was such, and the air, that it, uh, the air pressure going out through the hole gave the parachute a forward speed of maybe six to eight miles an hour, which gave it a tiny little bit of lift so that it came down a little more uh, gently. So now you could land into the wind, so you landed at speed of shoot, removed from the speed of the wind. So if you had a six mile an hour wind, you landed at zero. You landed, you could steer the parachute, and you came down more gently, and you didn't oscillate. So it removed part of the vertical shock, the oscillation, uh, and much of the wind speed, the vertical speed over the ground. So all of a sudden, we even had some occasional stand-up landings, or quite occasional. <laughs> And that, per the, my, that parachute is in the Smithsonian as a first port parachute. I would like to pay homage, that is, congratulate from the heart the extraordinary work done by a whole series of inventors that have transformed parachuting into the extraordinary activity it is today the extraordinary work done by the United States Parachute Association and by the Skydiving Museum, which will be of great assistance to the sport in the future.